Hello, I'm James Clark from King's College London, and in this very brief video, I'm going to show you how to use the wand tool in GraphPad Prism. It's not uncommon in basic research or clinical science to undertake one study and then weeks, months or years later undertake a very similar study where the data need to be analysed and plotted in exactly the same way. On the screen in front of you, you can see the outcome of our experiment. Experiment number one. We use these data to explain the two-way ANOVA in another tutorial. We use cells from two different cell lines and expose them to a drug for up to two hours and plotted the outcome. Now let's suppose we come back a few months later and want to recreate this experiment but this time run the experiment for four hours. We could just load this PRISM file, delete the data, rerun the analysis and create a new graph. But there's another way, a much more elegant way. So we leave this file, we leave experiment one exactly as it is and we create a new grouped table and enter the data for experiment 2. In experiment 2 we now have an n of 6 and we've run the experiment for 4 hours but essentially we've done the same experiment and we want to analyse it and plot a graph to show these data. For experiment 1 we had already carried out a two-way ANOVA with multiple comparisons and we created a graph. Experiment 2 however has no analysis and no graph. We could click on the plus new button and create a new graph of our data and create a new analysis of our data. This would take a lot of clicking and you would have to remember exactly how you did your previous analysis and graph creation in order for the two to look the same. On the menu bar in the analysis section there's a magic wand tool. This magic wand is essentially a way of repeating analyses and graphing for new data sets. So to do this we select the data, experiment 2, this is the new experiment, and we click on the wand tool. In the selection box that appears we are given the option to choose which other data table we wish to copy the analysis and graphing from. Since we've only carried out one experiment in this PRISM file, only experiment 1 is listed. Down the bottom of the window, we can choose to prefix the new sheet names with a letter, number or symbol. Above that, it tells us that based on experiment 1, one analysis and one graph will be created. Once we've decided on these options, we click OK. As if by magic, a new results window and a new graph window have been created, each preceded with a star. You can see a two-way ANOVA of experiment 2 has been created, complete with multiple comparisons and narrative results. The analysis criteria undertaken for this test is identical to those undertaken for experiment 1. The same with graphs. Experiment 1 graph and the new experiment 2 graph are now formatted identically have the same graph axes and are labelled accordingly. Using this magic wand tool you can effortlessly create new analyses and graphs of ongoing experiments.